Hey guys, it's Shannon. I am in the middle of decorating for Christmas. You can see behind me here. And look, we have a headboard finally. If you missed our modern bedroom makeover, I will link that down in the description box below as well as the iCards. You can go check that out. But in that video, we didn't have a headboard yet, and now we do. And I just added some greenery and some lights to the top, so the bedroom is starting to get that Christmas vibe. So I'm really trying to use what we already have to decorate for Christmas, but you know, sometimes things catch your eye, or you see a spot that you kind of want something different or new for. So I have done a little bit of Christmas shopping, and I thought I would bring you guys a haul so you can see all the cool things I have. And then I always like to do this because then later on, You'll want to subscribe so that you get a look at how I actually use these items in our Christmas home tour that is coming up the end of November. So make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss out on that. So let me get right on into the haul and I'll just work my way around and I'll do store by store so you can see what I got from each store and I'll also include the price in case you're looking for something that you see here. That'll help you out along the way. I'm going to start with Walmart first. They actually have really great flocked items, and that is definitely the look that I'm going for. So I bought this wreath. It's just a pretty much a plain wreath that you could decorate yourself and add some bows and things to if you wanted, but I actually really like it in the simplicity of it. So I'm going to keep it this way, and this wreath is a 24-inch flocked wreath from Walmart, and it was $9.97. Also to go along with the wreath, I purchased the garland. This is a 9 foot flocked garland from Walmart as well, and this was $12.97. I also grabbed some new ornament hooks. This is a pack of 100 for 98 cents. I don't know why, every time we get out ornaments it seems like these go missing or they fall in the box and drop out of the box and then they're gone forever, so I grabbed an extra package of these so we have them come time to decorate the Christmas tree. And last from Walmart, I grabbed three boxes of these clear mini lights in their green wire so they match the Christmas tree and they're the warm white and they're sets of 100 lights for about $2.50 each and we're putting a Christmas tree in the bedroom this year, so I'm excited about that. So these are going to go on the new Christmas tree. Next on to Target. I went two different times to Target and both times their dollar spot either just wasn't well stocked or it had already been really picked over. So I didn't really have a very good selection, but I did grab a few things. And the first thing I really thought was from the Magnolia section. Uh, it just has that vibe, but it actually is from the dollar spot. There's, it's a little house scene, so they're metal houses that are all connected together, and this was $3. I also found a really cute red truck with the Christmas tree. This was only a dollar. And then also for the bedroom, two of these fur stockings. They are so soft. They're kind of a smaller size, which is actually perfect because I just kind of want them for accent. They aren't actually going to have surprises or anything in them, but these were $3 each. I've already done several hauls from the Dollar Tree that included Christmas items, but I did grab two of these Santa Head mugs for the coffee bar, um, so this is something new. They also had some other cute little snowman one, so if you're interested in those, grab those because I don't think these hang around for very long. My next item, I was on the absolute biggest hunt. I looked in so many different stores and a lot of actual department stores don't have a lot of their Christmas baking kitchen stuff out yet because I guess people just aren't transitioned to baking for Christmas yet. So I had a really hard time finding kitchen rugs. So I looked everywhere um, from Home Goods to Target to Walmart um, and actually it it was very surprising, but I found these at Dollar General of all places, and they're really affordable too. So they're just woven plaid Christmas rugs, and these are 20 inches by 30 inches, and they were only $6 each. So I grabbed two of those for the kitchen. And one more thing I grabbed was from Hobby Lobby. I was sort of disappointed. I feel like Hobby Lobby year after year kind of has the same stuff and this year they had some really cute enamel looking things, so that was something new. And I found this white with red trim enamel plate, and it says, have yourself a merry little Christmas. It is normally $9.99, but their Christmas was 50% off, so I got it for about $5. 
and this is going to go in the coffee bar. And the last place I grabbed some Christmas items from was, well, it was between Home Goods and Marshalls, so they're kind of on that same vibe. These I know were from Home Goods. These are Christmas towels. I've already ripped them apart because I've used them in some photos that you've probably seen here already on YouTube. But this pack of four was $7.99. I'm doing a red and white theme with some green, of course, thrown in there for the kitchen. So I really love the different patterns that these had. And this one also has a really cute red truck. So keeping with this cute red truck theme too for the kitchen. I was also on the hunt for this tartan blanket. This one's not wool, I think it's just polyester, so it's softer actually, but I was really, really close to buying a very high-end expensive wool tartan blanket like this because I really, really wanted this print. And if you go on like Amazon, they're around 60, 70, even higher than that, dollars a piece. But I found this one at Home Goods, and this one was only $24.99. So I feel like I got a huge steal and bargain and found exactly what I wanted. Next are two candles. I loved this one because it has the wood and metal combo that I really, really love. So this was super cute for a candle. And it is a spiced apple and cinnamon scent. And I also really love that it had that farmhouse style look. And this one was $7.99. And again, $7.99 for this candle as well. It's a more uh, true red color. And I kind of like it because it's got two sides. And one side it says, so nice with some cute little holly leaves. And the other side is super cute. It says, stop and smell the holly. It says, sometimes life is hard, so why not take a moment to enjoy the little things in life? So super cute. And it smells so good and Christmassy too. And the very last thing is this super cute and huge Santa mug. I'm actually on the hunt for one more of these, so keep your fingers crossed that I can find one more. I want to hang them in the coffee bar, so I figured I better grab the one that I saw, and then hopefully I can find one more. And this one was only $3.99. So thank you guys so much for joining me for this haul. I love Christmas. It doesn't hurt my feelings to decorate early at all. Christmas can hang around extra long after Christmas even. It's just fine with me. So I'm just really excited to get the house all decorated, cozy, and joyful in that Christmas spirit. So like I said, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the home tour that I have coming up soon so you can see all of the home decor that I'll be setting up. I hope you'll give this video a thumbs up for me. You can also share this video with your friends and family and inspire them as well. Subscribe because I do DIY tutorials every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I want to thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.